Symptoms of a brain bleed. Subarachnoid hemorrhage symptoms. A brain hemorrhage is a type of stroke. It's caused by an artery in the brain bursting and causing bleeding in the surrounding tissue. This is an extremely serious condition that could result in permanent disability or even death. So it is critical that you take immediate action if you suspect you or someone you know may have suffered a brain bleed. What are the symptoms of brain bleeding? The symptoms can vary. They depend on the location of the bleeding, its severity, and the amount of tissues affected. Symptoms may develop suddenly or over time. If you exhibit any of the following symptoms, you may have a brain hemorrhage. Remember, this is a life-threatening condition and you should call for emergency medical care immediately. The symptoms include a sudden severe headache, seizures with no previous history of seizures, weakness in an arm or leg, nausea or vomiting, changes in vision, tingling or numbness, difficulty speaking or understanding speech, difficulty swallowing, loss of coordination, loss of balance. Keep in mind that many of these symptoms can be caused by conditions other than brain hemorrhages, but you need to be quick to rule it out. What causes bleeding in the brain? There are many risk factors and causes of brain hemorrhages. The most common include head trauma. Injury is the most common cause of bleeding in the brain for those younger than 50. High blood pressure. This chronic condition can over time weaken blood vessel walls. Untreated high blood pressure is a major preventable cause of brain hemorrhages. Aneurysm. This is a weakening in a blood vessel wall that swells. It can burst and bleed into the brain, leading to a stroke. Blood vessel abnormalities or malformations. Weakness in the blood vessels in and around the brain may be present at birth and diagnosed only if symptoms develop later in life. Blood or bleeding disorder. Hemophilia and sickle cell anemia can both contribute to decreased levels of blood platelets, which can make a bleed in the brain more likely. Liver disease. This condition is associated with increased bleeding in general. How is a brain hemorrhage treated? Once you see a doctor, they can determine which part of the brain is affected based on your symptoms. They may conduct a variety of imaging tests, such as a CT or MRI scan, which can reveal internal bleeding and any subsequent tissue damage. Treatment for bleeding in the brain depends on the location, cause, and extent of the hemorrhage. Surgery may be needed to alleviate swelling and prevent further bleeding. Certain medications may also be prescribed. These include painkillers, steroids or diuretics to reduce swelling, and anticonvulsants to control seizures. Can people recover from brain hemorrhages? Most patients who have experienced brain hemorrhage do survive. However, survival rates are decreased when the bleeding occurs in certain critical areas of the brain or if the initial bleed was very large. If a patient survives the initial event, recovery may take many months. Over time and with extensive rehabilitation efforts, including physical, occupational, and speech therapy, patients can regain function. However, some can be left with persistent weakness or sensory problems. Other patients may have ongoing seizures, headaches, or memory problems. Can a brain hemorrhage be prevented? Because the majority of brain hemorrhages are associated with specific risk factors, you can minimize your risk in the following ways. Treat high blood pressure. Studies show that 80% of cerebral hemorrhage patients have a history of high blood pressure. You can control this important risk factor through proper diet, exercise, and medication. Don't smoke. Don't use drugs. Cocaine, for example, can significantly increase the risk of bleeding in the brain. Drive carefully and always wear your seatbelt. If you ride a motorcycle, always wear a helmet. Brain hemorrhages are rare, but extremely serious. If you suspect that you have any lifestyle factors that increase the risk of suffering one, contact your doctor to discuss how you can reduce your risk. If you like this video, please subscribe to Better Days, where we deliver fun and informative videos that help you become the best version of you. Till next time, have a great day.